Virgo, it's Brandy back to give you your mid-month to end of month February 2019 reading. Thank you for joining me. Um, my information is below in the description box of what I have available now for you um, to get in contact with me. A 10-minute read is $15 through Cash App, PayPal, Google Wallet. If you need more personal read instead of um, this general for thousands, millions, or whoever watches. Uh, I use my gift to give you a message from spirit. I have stopped running from it and am using the cards. And it blows my mind. So this is not gender bias. It's gender neutral. Apply it wherever it goes. If it does not apply, mm, well, this one wasn't for you, I suppose. But spirit is not organized and spirit is not on a watch. I've noticed that most of the time, this stuff uh, is like... The past and present mission and one, I gotta decipher it. That being said, let's get into your reading for the 14th through the 28th of 2019. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, help me heal others, help me give guidance, and let me know if this resonates. So the first card I pulled out for you, Virgo, my lover. I do love Virgo. Seeing the true you, and I believe this is just a beautiful card. Look at her. It does have nudity. Look at her though. It's like the mix of home life and nature, I see, because of the couch, the nudity, and the lily pads and the water. It's self-reflecting. It is, are you seeing, are you really seeing you through your eyes, or are you seeing yourself through someone else's eyes? Is someone else's agenda being pushed on you and you are trying to conform to it, or are you trying to break free to be your genuine self? Then we got the... Don't let the past hold you back. Your your past hold you back. Okay. Followed by the... Uh, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Followed by the Four of Wands. And in this deck, it means a few things. And this one is... Um, are you bordering on the line of confinement like for your, your soul? And then followed by the Devil. Okay and the Wheel of Fortune, and we will pull more cards. I just want to get some out here to get it started. Okay, so what this looks like to me is that you are falsely entrapped, and you are letting people display your past on you, and while the sun and the moon can sometimes, oh, well, not some, they, they reflect each other, but they only reflect like 2% of each other. Okay? And it's better if you perceive the sun for the sun, and the moon for the moon. Okay, you... I'm trying to get this out. It's like... Woo -woo -woo. You are trying to be responsible in your life, Virgo. But in that, you are... You're taking on someone else's how they, how they are responsible and not your true self. Okay, you are bordering the line of confinement and oppressing yourself. And the will of fortune is coming in and saying, hey, the past, these people, none of that matters. We need to turn. We need to change this up. Something's got to give. You need to turn this cycle. You need to be yourself. You need to release yourself from this false entrapment because you need to look in the mirror and see yourself, not through other people's eyes. All right? And under that, we have Chariot which is movement. You are moving. So you got quite a few arcana here. Follow them by the seven of wands. You're in conflict. Uh, do I be me? Do I do what most of the world does? And I'm going to tell you, it's, it's almost like uh, your last reading I did going against the grain. And to be honest, that card did come back out, but I put it back in and kept shuffling for you. Um, because, Virgo, you are unique. And all the Virgos I know are, are loving, outside-of-the-box stinkers. When younger, people looked at them weird because they were just loving and open. Okay? And because of us growing up and people doing that, they got lost for a minute of, of who they really were. Because they were, they were trying to fit a square into a round peg hole. And I believe I said that last, uh, last reading. Okay? You need to... Don't let the past influence you. We, we all had crazy moments. Okay? Thankfully, 
People didn't put mine up on Facebook back then. Thank God. <laughs> All right, because you need to see the the true you. Look at her; she's beautiful, man. I think she's beautiful. This card's beautiful, just like the other one was beautiful that represented you. You know, uh, you don't want the devil, addictions, whatever. The the addictions I think are connected to the past. You're worried about what someone's gonna say about your old addictions that are in the past. And you don't need to worry about that because that's not who you are anymore. Okay, everyone evolves, everyone changes, everyone goes through cycles, and I believe that's what the Wheel of Fortune is. Every life is a cycle. We learn from the cycle. It keeps moving. It's got to move now. You need to quit bordering on the line of confinement. You need to move. You need to get out of the conflict. That's a that's an inner conflict, and someone else being like, "Oh, well, this is what I do." Ha! Well. <clears throat> That's what I say. Okay. Let's see if we can get some more from my Virgo. Because I feel it's a really short reading. <laughs> That's general reading, though. That's pretty point blank tonight since I pull the cards and get the message before I go on cam. Okay. Uh, I think it's better. I don't want to sit through an hour long reading, do you? Not really. I hate that. I hate watching them shuffle the cards, lay them out, and don't speak. So two come out here. Because you have a choice, you already know the choice, you already know the truth uh, about this choice. Because that is the Two of Swords, followed by the Ace of Wands, which is your creative self coming back out. You, you are staying true to you. You're getting back into that creative passion. You made that choice. You're cutting people other opinions off, man. Man, this is just... You must be going through this. You're you're going through this thing to find yourself, and you're moving though. Definitely moving out of it. Kind of contemplating. Just don't let the, the don't let those past things put you back there. Eight of Swords in the in the reverse. That's good. See, because that is that is uh, imprisonment that you put yourself in, and you're out of it. By the end of February, it looks like. You're definitely out of that, and you're getting more creative, and you're communicating that. You don't give a damn about what their traditions are. you got your own moral compass. Uh, the past is the past, okay? past is the past, and that's how we learn from things. We take the past, and we learn from it. And that's just point blank. If I didn't have some of the things that happened to me in the past, I wouldn't have so many degrees. I wouldn't, uh, now... Me being me, I always felt I needed to, ah, death, sorry. I always need to show those people I wasn't what they thought. No, I just don't care. But death's coming in, so he's, nah, man. That old you's gone. Bring back, bring back the true girl. Boy, guy, horse, whatever. Bring yourself back. Death's forcing you to. Death's getting rid of um, all these restraints. Okay? I think that's beautiful. I do want to pull um, hmm, your second in your power. Empress is the bottom of the deck. Major Arcanas. People have had a lot of Major Arcanas in my reads. And I shuffle. Okay? <laughs> a Sage, a Cedar. <sighs> Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Energy, Readers, Please, Spirit, give me a general concise message here. For February 14th, 28th, or 2019, for my Virgo. One more shuffle. Put them in the place if you need. Okay. We're almost on the foot. Dear you, 
the simple yet powerful law of cause and effect means everything is in relationship. Every action on earth has a consequence, and even in the spirit world, there is a consequence for every action taken on your behalf. Right now, you're facing conditions that were set in motion by past decisions. Oh my god, you guys see me shuffle these. That's what I'm saying. Okay, past decisions. Don't let it hold you back. Consequences are coming into being in your favor. <laughs> they will remind you that making good choices and listening to your intuition do pay off. If some things are a little off and uncertain, know that whatever you are facing, you can stop beyond it. And just by using your imagination and acting on that instead of reacting to what is being presented. Everything you think and do has far-reaching reverberation in the web of life. Move to higher ground and have faith that what goes around comes around. The universe is always self-correcting anyway. Isn't that amazing? How we adore you, Virgo. How does this... I'm, I'm telling you, that's why I decided to start using cards. I, f I, I, I can control what kind of comes and goes with cards rather than tapping into spirit. Like someone's past loved ones and such because that that's scary sometimes I'm not gonna lie this is much better because i invite only m my guidance spirits um yeah just backs up don't let the past hold you back from whoever has something to say it forms us and what goes around comes around is what this is saying you need to just Know that it's all in your favor, and you, you, you need to get back to seeing the true you, not what everyone else is seeing, my love. And Virgo, I will catch you on the flip side, and if anyone wants to contact me, you definitely can. Okay, I have no problem with that. That's what I'm here for, to help heal, guide. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, comment, so I know, I know I've helped someone, right? I I know that you're you're sharing to maybe someone else come and find their sign and get a little guidance. That's what this is about. All right, this is my calling. I know I've been told. <laughs> Catch you on the flip side, babe.